if you would just stay for a while. I want to see if I can get a softer face. It's looking like it needs exfoliating. All right, let's get to it. It's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, girl. If you're new here, go ahead and subscribe to me, child. Okay, all right. So today, I think it's time for some self-care. And I have a new mask, and I want to see what it's going to be giving. It's called Holler and Glow. And then I got this from Target. So it's supposed to bubble on your face, like to show it's working or whatever. Let me read it. Let me put on my glasses and read it. <laughs> okay. Let's see. It says Bubbling Cocktail Day Mask. This bubbling day face mask is powered by Kaolin. To balance the natural oils in your skin, grab some downtime and try this hydrating hyaluronic acid and cranberry enriched treatment that moisturizes the skin. Watch as the bubbles build and work their magic. Ugh. That sounds painful. All right, let's see. bubbling it's sizzling and bubbling you can hear it it sounds like rice krispies on my face i'm scaring myself am i scaring you something is happening bubbling brown sugar Y'all remember what's happening? That was a jam when they were singing that. Bubbling brown sugar. Da -da 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 -da. I don't know the words, but. I'm showing my age today. Okay, wait. I got to show y'all this. Do y'all see the bubbles on my face? You see the bubbles on my face? Look at the bubbles on my face. It was flat when I put it on. I was all sudsy and bubbly. I wonder if it's really doing anything. We will see. While we're waiting on my bubble bath to bubble, I'm going to show you guys what I got from Marshalls today for such a good deal. It is such a good deal. I have this set. It's exfoliating body scrub and two bath bombs. Walking on sunshine and it smells really good. It's called Orange Blossom and it was yep, $6.99. So I'm going to toss that in the bathtub and use this body scrub as well during my self-care. I also got these tweezers today and these are the pointy kind and the slanted to get all the hairs out of your eyebrows. I also found a weighted jump rope. I've been looking for a weighted one and this one kind of matches my decor of my workout stuff. <laughs> so I got this one, it's kind of heavy. We're going to see how that works probably tomorrow. Y'all know I ain't jumping rope on camera though. I ain't doing all of that. 
no, I ain't no pro yet. But original price was twenty dollars, but I got it for five ninety nine. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all, this turns your water tangerine orange, just like the flavor, and it spins around. Can y'all see it? It spins and bubbles. <laughs> Can y'all see that? It just turns and spins and spins till it's all dissolved. This is crazy. I'll find some crazy stuff. My last bath bomb had a coin inside. What is going on? Y'all, this is what my light looks like. The little strip light I want to go in the back of the bed. This is what it's looking like. A little ambiance in my room. Let's see. You can tell how it looks. It's very subtle and it matches my light already and my alarm clock color. So it's all flowing with the same color. I like it. Hey y'all, just checking in today. It is um, Thursday, January 27th, and it is the day after my home self-care regimen I did. I'm here to tell y'all that I got up the next morning and I felt so good. I felt good that I didn't have to go get like a massage or I didn't have to go get my brows done. Or I didn't have to go pay for the self care, but I did it myself, a cheaper version of it. And I felt just as good. I really enjoyed that bath bomb set that I got from Marshalls and all of that for $6 or $7 or whatever it was. It put me in a, a, a good mood and a good space and I was so productive today. So in the morning, I write a list out for what I need to do, right? But a list is nothing if you don't go by it <laughs> so I went by my list and did everything that I was supposed to do and I just feel better when I can do that so just let you know that sometimes you can do your own self-care routine and it'll turn out just as good just letting y'all know that all right about to get this makeup off my face and lay it down. See, I got on my favorite pajamas. Get this makeup off and turn in. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Good morning. It is the next day. Today is Friday, January 28th. And I um, just got up, had my coffee and i'm about to eat this egg and cheese low carb tortilla breakfast sandwich that i made and today guys we have an appointment at the doctor just follow up checkup and we also have a lash appointment because these are over 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 my lashes last one month I refuse to get my lashes done more than once a month. I also get my nails done once a month because they're so detailed and it's, you know, hours and they stay on that long. So I save money by doing it. 
I get somebody that can do my stuff that lasts. Because I'm not going somewhere twice a month. It's not necessary for me. For you, maybe. But that's that on that. But let me show you this egg and cheese sandwich. And then we're out the door. So this is what we're doing for breakfast. Egg and cheese. Sunny sawed up inside. Nice and runny. I wish it was a little more runny. But that's how I like mine. But... That's that. And I'm doing good, y'all. I'm still on this low-carb diet. Like, today, day 28, I'm still at 10 pounds loss. But that's fine because as long as it doesn't go up, I'm cool. It can stay the same. But I'm not going to go off the diet. I'm just going to stay and maybe increase my walking or increase something because a plateau this early is unacceptable not doing it but yeah let me show you my stuff that i have gathered so far okay i have my dumbbells and i have my gloves so i don't get calluses on my hands i have my tape measure to keep doing my measurements once a month I have my weighted jump rope and my J-Sculpt um, waist trainer belt. It's kind of too tight and I'm not about to die trying to wear it. So I'm waiting for a few more pounds to come off to start wearing that again. But yeah, so that's what's going on over here. So I'll check in with you later. Y'all, I got on my Valentine's Day pants today. Y'all like my Valentine's Day pants? I don't even like Valentine's Day. <laughs> but I thought that was cute. But I get stuff from everywhere. These pants are from CVS. And they are the softest pants ever. This is my second pair of leggings from CVS, y'all. Don't sleep. I am about to make a low carb pizza. Basically cheese, black olives, pizza sauce, and pesto. That's it. I don't want meat today. I bought um, ground turkey to put on it, but I don't feel like meat today. I'm not a fan. But yep, so that's what I'm about to do today. Got the low carb tortillas, of course. I'm just gonna get the tortilla crispy in the pan because I'm not putting anything in the oven. This is just a quick way that I do it. I try to make things personal size for me because I just wanna control it. Like if I make two, three, four pizzas, <laughs> that'll make me just go get more pizza and oh, I'm hungry, let me eat more. No, it's not what I'm doing. Yep, so we're going to start with some pizza sauce, and we're going to put some mozzarella on there, some olives, and top it off with a little pesto to give it some flavor, a little flavor going on. Tortilla almost ready. Yay! Y'all get happy when y'all about to eat. <laughs> Do y'all get happy when y'all about to eat and start doing the happy dance? Or you wait till you bite into it to dance? Um, 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 um. Come on, tortilla. Get ground. Oh, yeah. It's getting crispy now. Okay, so it's nice and crispy. Uh, in there like that nice and crispy just pour the pizza sauce doesn't take that much because it's just one serving extra 
extra cheese, some olives. I love, love, love black olives. Love them. Mm -hmm. Simple pizza. Like I said, I'm not putting the ground turkey on them. Cause I don't feel like making it. Now the personal pizza is in the microwave, melting all that yummy cheese. One personal pizza to go. Such a to me.